Today's video is my first dividend update for 2024. It's going to cover January and February. Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to my channel. So back in November of 2022, I joined a challenge which helped me to give some more direction to my investing. So the challenge was on Keenan Grace's Discord and it was the passive income challenge. So with that, I was going to be bringing some dividend focused investments to my portfolio. I chose to do that over on Mumu. My initial accountability statement for this challenge, this is it right here, that I will buy one share of O, Realty Income, every Wednesday for 10 weeks and hold it until 2025 or longer. I definitely have stayed true to this commitment for the 10 weeks. And now I'm about 68 weeks into building this portfolio. I have not been doing it on Wednesday, but I'm okay with that. I've been investing weekly into not just realty income, pretty much from the start, I added two more investments into it, which were Main Street Capital and SPHD. And at the beginning of this year, I decided to add a new position, which is SCHD. And we'll take a little closer look at those ETFs later on. So prior to this, my portfolio was a little bit heavier into individual stocks than I think it should have been. And it was predominantly Apple stock. So this gave me the opportunity to bring some diversification through the investments that I just mentioned, as well as bringing more VTI and VOO into my portfolio also. So for right now, I am definitely in investor mode. I have not sold anything. I am okay. I am content with the positions that I have decided to build out. For now, I'm always keeping an eye on the positions in my portfolio, but investing for me is a long-term commitment. And especially with my taxable accounts, I'm just getting started. The portfolios that I share mainly here on my channel are portfolios that I'm managing in addition to my 401k and my IRA, which I have at Fidelity for retirement, for my true retirement age. But I want to have additional investments, hopefully, that I can tap into in early retirement. Let's take a look at my dividends received so far in 2024. Over on Webull, I received $17.15 from Apple, Disney, Realty Income, and Paramount. And on Moomoo, where I'm doing my main passive income investments, I've received $77.27 from the three investments that I've already mentioned, Maine, Realty Income, and SPHD. I have not gotten a dividend yet for SCHD. That's the first thing that I've added to my passive income portfolio that pays quarterly. All three of these investments that I've been working on since 2022 pay monthly. We're starting off the year with my first $94.42 received in dividends. And as I said, right now, I am focused on investing, not tapping into any of these funds. So whether my investment platform has it automatically as a DRIP, a dividend reinvestment program, meaning that my dividends go directly back into shares of that same investment or the money is going into my cash balance, I'm using it to continue to invest and build up my portfolio. As we see here from this, from an article I was looking at recently, reinvesting your dividends can drastically add to the effects of compound earnings. It's a way to maximize your total shares until retirement which is ideally when you'll begin to accept your dividends as cash payouts. So that is a part of my future goal, my future plans. Right now, they are small amounts, but that's why I said I am in investor mode, continuing to build out these positions for the next few years to come. We looked at the dividends received in both my Webull and Moomoo portfolio. 
but I'm sharing a little bit more detail here. These are the position sizes of my investments at Mumu. SCHD, which is the new addition to my portfolio, I have five shares. Main Street Capital, I have 30 SPHD, I have 38. And Realty Income, I now have 102 shares. I ended the year of 2023 at 100 shares. So as the year goes on, you'll see more dividends coming in from investments that I receive quarterly payments for, like Ford, VTI, VOO, and Target. So related to ETFs like SCHD, as well as the S&P 500 and several other stocks, investments, index funds, we've been seeing the headlines that they are at all time highs. And I'm not letting that discourage me. Maintain my investing strategy, come up with a plan that works from and continue to evolve with my plan so that it works. But I'm not going to stop or slow down on my investing throughout 2024. Obviously, I'm going to be using my judgment to know when I want to go more heavily, but I want to stay consistent into building out certain positions. So as I said, I won't be taking a break from my investing, even in a bull market. Let's take a look at SCHD over the last six months. It's up 5.92% and it's currently at $78.39. As you can see here, it's at the top of the year range, which was between 66.67 and 78.24. SPHD is up 5.08% over the last six months. It's at $42.59 as of the time of this recording, slightly below the year range which topped out at $43.84. SCHD is the Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF. It tracks the performance of the Dow Jones Dividend 100 Index. So as I said earlier, it's a way that I want to incorporate more diversification into my portfolio. Unlike other funds, it's not heavy into tech. The tech portion of this fund is 17.7. Other larger positions are financial, health, staples, and industrial. This fund is described as being made up of old school companies, for example, Broadcom, Texas Instruments, Cisco Systems, as well as other well-known names like Chevron, Verizon, and Coca-Cola. A little bit on SPHD, it's a S&P 500 high dividend, low volatility ETF, which has an even lower percentage of tech in it than SCHD at just 5%. The ticker symbols may sound very similar, but as I just shared, they are different and there is only about a 9% fund overlap between the two. SPHD has a total of 50 holdings within their fund, and SCHD gives you exposure to 104 different holdings. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and use my investment links if you're ready to start a new portfolio. They'll be pinned in the top comment of this video. Thanks for watching and being my accountability buddies and partners in this. As I said earlier on, I'm about 68 weeks into incorporating this focus in my portfolio. And I will continue to share this journey with you along the way. Drop me a comment and let me know what dividend paying investments you're currently focused on. And if you have any share size goals that you are trying to achieve to create a certain amount of passive income. Thanks again for watching. Okay, bye.